Um, like giving somebody flowers when they're like totally into you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I mean, not not that that has I any. Feel it's so just an arbitrary bad. like so talk example. About, talk about my four days. <laughs> so day one, I felt great. Yeah. Day one, I was strong. Day two, still good. Okay. I was fine. I was like good. I think I felt um, not super restricted. <laughs> Day, day two? three, okay. yeah, day three hit me like a bus. I was on the struggle bus like nobody's business. I woke up with a headache. I woke up at 4.30 a.m., had a work morning. Yeah. And then um, I took my early morning meetings and then I took off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, hey, what's up? Oh, how's, oh hi. <laughs> <laughs> was, Good to see you. I gotta go. Yeah. And then... I don't know, and I didn't even notice it until I basically like got hang hangry at you and snapped at you, <laughs> and then um, I didn't even notice. <laughs> and then I called back immediately, an immediate regret. I have owned up and apologized about it. And I feel like you're playing it down a little bit. No, so. I did. <laughs> I called you right back, and I was like, I'm very sorry, but I, I had a moment. Thank you so much for coming in and uh, just diving into the uh, the fourth day of our fast, our 40-day fast. You're going to hear a little bit about some of our struggles on the fast. It's just a really good exploration as to what we're experiencing just even in four days, just within ourselves. And also what um, God is showing us and revealing to us within our lives, within our habits. Um, it's just a fun conversation. So dive in. Uh, pull up a chair, grab some tea, enjoy. May this bless you. Thanks for coming in and uh, be sure to subscribe and like and uh, join our groups. Hit those notification bells and we're um, eager to hear from you. Thanks for your fellowship and enjoy. So let me ask like, okay, so we're like four days into the the, the 40 <laughs> oh, day no, fast. Are you make me? So how does, what's, how do you feel different in your relationship with God even in these last 40 days? Because you just mentioned that um, over your lifetime, your relationship has grown, and now you trust him more today I don't than know. you did. I mean, I feel like you know we pray that we pray eyes to see, ears to hear yeah. you, and then even more so. I think lately we've been praying like, let us hear your voice above all else, even above one another. Yeah. It's like your voice yeah. and my voice. Like, um, <laughs> we'll share that prayer later. Uh, like, and I think, yeah. I think. I don't know. I, I don't know that I would say that I feel him more vividly or intimately. I think I feel really blessed where like over these last few months, he's been pretty vivid and yeah. responsive to me. And I've told you this, I, and I feel like I'm making it up, but I know that he's responding. Like I'll have prayers and he will answer them. They might not always yeah. look like what I expect them to look like. In fact, they never look like what I expect them to look like. <laughs> yeah. But I see his response. Yeah. I do. And I think that um, it's funny. I don't really have like an expect expectation coming into this. Yeah. And I'm processing that right now. But I think as I come into it, I, I feel like it's like this, like, I'm just coming into it with an openness. Yeah. Versus like uh, any expectation of what he's going to do or what he's going to say or reveal to me. I mean, of course, there are things on my heart that I want to surrender to him, yeah. to your point, and offer to him. I know. It's a balance of, of like, we kind of started off, like, these are my expectations going in. Mm -hmm. um, this is what I would like to accomplish. This is what I would like. I would like some answers as far as, like, career and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. I would like some answers as far as, like, these other areas of my life. Um, and I would like to grow in relationship. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, okay, in that relationship, I also have to, like, surrender, like, what do you have for me? Uh, yes. Like, I want these answers, and Scary. I want them actually <laughs> yesterday, but I'll settle for them today. Right. And, um, but then, really, like, that relationship is not, it's not about what I want, and it's not about what he wants. Yeah. But it's about, like, what he wants for us in that relationship. I can come into my relationship and call it my relationship. I can call it come into the relationship and call it my relationship. Mm -hmm. And you can come into the relationship and say my relationship, right? Your relationship. And so that's the beauty about God. And then this this fast is that what do you have for us in here? And he's like, oh, well, actually, I want to co-author your life or this area that your life with you. Like, I don't want to 
force you into anything and i don't want you to come to me in prayer with mm -hmm. what you want and then use me as a use god as a vessel to make your wishes come through come true like he's not a genie right yeah and so he's like oh well thanks like you surrendered this or you're like open to this relationship like let's co-author it so he kind of like we become in harmony yeah. with that it, sometimes our heart will be moved to do something and if we don't act on yeah. it that moment distracted. passes yeah we get distracted well yeah and then the window closes mm -hmm. it seems like like it's just like there's less motivation to do it the opportunity doesn't happen anymore and that's been on my mind for a while too of just if he moves my heart to do something that is loving or good or just an act of kindness yeah do it and um and i want to i want to be intentional about that over these next 40 days small things right like this like the easter presents that mm -hmm. we're thinking about for people mm -hmm. Or um, like giving somebody flowers when they're like totally into you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I mean, not not that that has any. So it's just an bad. arbitrary like so talk example. About, talk about my four days. <laughs> so day one, I felt great. Yeah. Day one, I was strong. Day two, still good. Okay. I was fine. I was like good. I think I felt um, not super restricted. <laughs> Day, day two? three, okay. yeah, day three hit me like a bus. I was on the struggle bus like nobody's business. I woke up with a headache. I woke up at 4.30 a.m., had a work morning. Yeah. And then um, I took my early morning meetings, and then I took off. <laughs> I, like, yeah, I was like, hey, what's up? Oh, how's, oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. I gotta go. Yeah. And then... I don't know, and I didn't even notice it until I basically like got hang hangry at you and snapped at you, <laughs> and then um, I didn't even notice. <laughs> and then I called back immediately, an immediate regret. I have owned up and apologized about it. And I feel like you're playing it down a little bit. No, I so. did. I called you right back, and I was like, I'm very sorry, but I I had a moment. I don't know what I can say right now to defuse this. I feel like nothing of what I'm, I, I say is like I was hoping. reading you all wrong. I was not where I was dying. coming from. Um, I don't know that I have anything to say here. <laughs> and then this guy comes with flowers. <laughs> And like my guilt flower staring me in the face right now after I just like was I was unwell. I was struggling yesterday. I felt tired. Yeah. I felt grumpy. I felt um, foggy. My yeah. my brain felt foggy. My words were getting mixed up. Yeah. It was like all of those things. And then now, like today. I know today's like super high energy. That's how it was last night too, right? Yeah. 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 It's so Let's funny. see. Okay, I mean, I've done this a couple of times, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm newer to it. You, you've been, you've been doing. We'll this. we'll see when we're later on into it. Then you're gonna <laughs> see me fall apart. <laughs> the first thing he says to me after the flowers is like, "So remember this moment of grace." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I might need it later. <laughs> I was putting a penny in the piggy bank. Mm -hmm. um, day one, honestly, like I've been haven't really been keeping track of the days because because i'm a little afraid to yeah um day one i was good day two i think i was okay too day three was yesterday right yeah today's day four yeah day three day three i was like hyper focused mm -hmm. and really like hyper focused and i think my struggle was like where to put my focus because mm -hmm. i felt like oh i have I, I have just this high like high high heightened sense of focus and and yeah i mean i have an analyst brain that like nobody other than you really know but <laughs> um but i was like where do i put that's the other thing too is like some of these like i don't know i guess gifts or the like energy like today like our super high energy is like where do we want to put our energy we want to put in like I 10 know. different things i'm like but, let's go we're behind yeah i'm like chill hold on <laughs> like i get it but hold on yeah um so yeah i was hyper focused yesterday um i felt good and then in the evening time like i had like a, a boatload of energy like we worked out and then even after the workout i was like like let's do more stuff yeah and then um and then i worked till like three in the morning yeah but, you were going hard um 
Yeah, and then today I feel rested. I feel good. I feel plenty. I feel like I have plenty of energy. I do feel focused. I feel peace. Like throughout these last few days, I felt peace. So the idea of the light, mm-hmm. and um, with Carly's like sermon last week, where it really spoke to me too was the 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 idea of like traveling together with a partner or a passenger in a car in her an- analogy. Mm-hmm. But the idea, too, that we may be in the driver's seat driving with the lights off, but we have a a passenger, a partner with us who they themselves have light in them. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times getting to the destination, we think we did it or we think like we got there. Like I'm trying to like tie it to her analogy. Um, And then we realize like. I, as a driver of this car, get to this destination and see in the reflection of the building in front of me that the lights weren't even on. Mm -hmm. But there's also, like, the idea of, like, my passenger actually being the light. Mm -hmm. I was driving, but they were actually being the light Mm -hmm. of, like, hey, turn on your lights. Or their light kind of got us there because, like, maybe we can say there's two sets of eyes so you can drive better in the dark. I don't know. Yeah. But... And these moments where we're like, we have to walk in the light, but mm-hmm. sometimes we're distracted. Sometimes we're driving with the lights off. Yeah. <laughs> and so pulling each other like, like up with the light, <gasps> especially in these moments I know. is like, just like how we're like, we're feeling not our best mm-hmm. and we look to God and God's our light, right? Mm-hmm. He like pulls us back into the light and he tells us walk in my light. Right. And and in fellowship, we do that for each other too. And yeah, I'm, I'll yeah. have moments, you'll have moments, and like we've gotten a lot better. At like, all right, I think you're having That's a been moment. That's a recent lesson. Yeah, which I am super grateful for. And that harmony too that we spoke about, like, like his fingerprints are all over it. Mm-hmm. And we have like influence over each other, mm-hmm. and so we can drag each other <laughs> into the darkness. Yeah, like you know just in conflict or you know lift each other distraction up. yeah or we can like lift each other up and Into it's interesting yeah. yeah and so well and that's iron sharpening iron right like that's what that is yeah and i think what's so interesting the idea of like both materials being strong and steady mm-hmm. and sharpening each other because of sharpening each other in their strength versus like destroying each other in their strength iron sharpening iron as opposed to iron i don't know damaging iron i don't mm. know what the opposite of that would be, <laughs> but, but yeah like yeah. the idea is like iron will sharpen iron but it will sharpen it it won't dull it right you know like yeah. i'm sure like if like iron if like two iron swords are like hit against each other like at their sharpest point they're gonna like eventually like destroy each other oh you know like take two knives together at their sharp there's the sharp ends of a knife and like tap them together a few times and they'll start to like chip or like dent each other Mm -hmm. but if you take like two like iron pieces of iron and you like sharpen them Mm -hmm. you know like you sharpening a knife i'm doing a sharpening knife (laughs) weird motion with my hand nobody else can see what else (laughs) But anyway, I don't know, at least I'm very visual. So, like, that's how my mind works, like, iron sharpening iron. Yeah. So we can either dull each other or we can sharpen each other. We can either drag each other into, like, confusion and darkness and, like, distraction. Mm -hmm. Or we can, like, lift each other up. Well, and some of these lessons aren't easy, right? And lessons don't come without experience. They don't come without revelation. They don't come with like a sense of like humility of realizing like, oh, we haven't been doing this right. Yeah. And I think that that's what was really incredible to me like last Sunday. <laughs> oh, we haven't been doing this right. Yeah. Uh, that's like my feeling like at least like every hour of right. most days. <laughs> um, yeah. I think God is humbled us in a yeah, lot of different yeah. ways like before we even met one another and um, but I do think that there is something so incredible about how you and I both have our hearts open to him you and I want a foundation in him mm-hmm. and also like individually right individually and collectively yeah. 
And like we also do want to put his influence above so that 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 running water, yeah. right? That like flowing water that you're talking about is able to kind of like um, my influence is inspired by him. Mm-hmm. It's not coming from me and my humanity. And I think that's the aspect of like, I mean, you did it great yesterday. I was having a moment and you didn't. <laughs> I was really impressed. Like you didn't, you didn't get swept up into my mood and that had nothing I, to do with you admittedly i did struggle a few right. moments I, I in mean, time i pressed pretty hard where i was like mm, <laughs> like you're so wrong right here and i just want to like convince you that you're wrong and i want you to like see that but i was like I, there's nothing I can say right now that I know, you're is like, going to okay, help. Well, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I hang up. And then literally 30 seconds later, I call you back. And to my yeah. credit, yeah. I acknowledged it. I was like, I'm yeah. so sorry. I saw the call coming. I was like, I, I don't think I want to <laughs> answer this. <laughs> and then and then we were fine. And then, you know. Yeah, but I have to give you a lot of credit. Like, that was, <sighs> like, you call back. And the first thing you said was like, I didn't handle that great. I like, really did. I could have done better. And I was, yeah. Like, but I think that that's what you did in that moment yesterday is you could have, I could have dragged you down. You could have met me at my mood, which was not a loving mood. <laughs> um, but instead, you gave grace. You allowed for me to get it all out. And then, and then, um, and then when I came back and met you, like we were able to kind of like move forward. Like you were in the light, you were a light in that moment. Like you were. Whereas, you know, if you were not that light in that moment, it could have gone a very different way. It could have been this long drawn out, like blown out of proportion thing. I'm just gonna go home. Like, you know what? Why don't I just go home? And blah blah blah. blah. And just, we just scrap the anymore. entire night and weekend. And like, I, and then, admittedly, like on my mind was like, you know what? Go yeah, just home. go home. Like, I I'm gonna chill tonight. Like, I got things that I can do, and like, I'm gonna go do like a spa day or something or self care. Like, how dare you do or a do a spa work day night? Me. And I was like, you know what? You want to have your fit? Like, go do that in your space. But and, yeah. You know, that's one thing. I will, I, yeah, you go. I I will say. I mean, I'm. We're reflecting on all of this, and it's um. You know, like. It, you know, in the moment, we don't realize like all these things that are happening, but also like the light and like God and how He's moving in us. Mm-hmm. Because there was moments where I was like, just not cool at some of the things I said. <laughs> I was like, okay, you've insulted me like five <laughs> times in the last like three minutes, like. Mm. But, you know, the other thing too is that I think uh, an important thing to mention about like this fast and being closer to God and being like more harmonious with him is that in the in that conversation, I wasn't in prayer, like in active prayer. I wasn't like talking to God, like, please God, give me the words to like say and how to like diffuse this or what to say or what to do. Yeah. In a sense, like there was like this natural wrestling in me of like this is what i think is right and this is my mind in that entire like the whole conflict was me thinking practically i was like well you're gonna go to the gym and you're gonna do this and that well in that case like maybe i'll just stay out here and avoid traffic and just work out and like it all made sense practically so that was me and my humanity like i was like practically like all right i get my stuff done gets her stuff done and she has a good gym session and i have a good gym session and i avoid traffic however it works out Mm. i was all practical and like your perspective was like we had this time and so my wrestling was like look this is practical um and i'm gonna like stand up for the practicality of my position there is also this conflict that i'm realizing of me and my will and my understanding and my perspective and then what the relationship needed in that moment Ooh, that's good and see it was more of god just telling me like look be still just be still yeah. like be mm-hmm. still i'm doing work and i was like uh, all right but i have nothing more to say here like there's nothing else i can say i have nothing and you're like okay fine 
bye. Or I'm gonna go take care of myself is what I heard. And you hung up and then like that left space for him to do work in you because I could have said something dumb and you'd be like, you know what, whatever. Like and I you am were like going home. Yeah. You like ran a hundred miles in the other direction. Yeah. But what I realized is that like I wanted to say other things. I wanted to like plead my case and I wanted to like But I think that that's a part of like the influence too. And I think that that's a part of like, how are we going to show up for one another based on like how God wants us to walk? Yeah. And you made space for that yesterday and it wasn't an active thing. It was more of a passive thing of being still that gave me room when you came back to like original plans and then it was like, oh my goodness, I'm being so silly. And oh my goodness, like I see like my, like be, me being hangry, like <laughs> me being just like moody yeah. right now. Um, and just how like, you know, how unnecessary that is. And a lot of like the conflict is unnecessary. Yeah. And, and to your point too, it is interesting and I'm still kind of like debating this idea and trying to sort through it. But the idea of distraction in mm-hmm. moments of purpose or mo- moments towards purpose. And um, and some things that I don't understand. Like some things that are like, this is such a small thing. Like why is it like blown out of proportion? And part of that is like how we show up to it, right? Part of that is like how, um, how we receive that. And then also like how, how, how we, I don't know, like... It's almost like you can put no energy into it, or you can get swept up into the energy yeah. of something that doesn't deserve it. Well, it's that be still, like he's doing work. Like he told me, like be still. I I felt in my heart, like just shut up. There's nothing else you can say right now. Anything that you say is it doesn't matter how brilliant you think it is, or how <laughs> practical, or. See? how intelligent or like what how right you think it is it's just not going to help i know what i see from a macro perspective is especially with the correlation with this fast he's like moving in us and we're in harmony with mm. him so we had the opportunity to invite distraction into our relationship and into get our day swept up into it. and get swept up into it and <sighs> we were like we could have easily like i'm sure i you know through the conversations throughout the day my communication my interaction like i was very focused and i wasn't like very engaging conversationally Mm -hmm. all day um and you know i it wasn't like i was like i'm the light i'm the light i'm the light i'm the light like all day long it was like we were both like like contributing to the looming conflict wow. at the end of the day interesting but we were in such harmony with him where like i heard him tell me like all right be still like stop like you're just like you're offering solutions you're offering practical stuff but it's not helpful and it's not I being mean, received i mean i don't know that it goes that <laughs> they were far. so practical he was like you are on point you're oh. doing perfect <laughs> like you're great faithful servant you're like perfect. you're good you know like <laughs> yeah, he was like patting me on the back you're fist bumping <laughs> Like in the car, he was like, just, just I mean, like everything I've told right. you to do, you've done it perfectly. I love you. Okay. So not so much of that, hardly any of that. But then he was also moving in you. Yeah, but I think that's, that's a part right. of the challenging one another. And I think that there's, um, there's light and darkness in that. Yeah. Right. Like it's either we can it's challenge like, each, each are other. Are you pushing you? Are you, are you pushing me towards the light? Am I pushing you towards the light? Towards or away. Or away. Ooh scary yeah and i think that's a part of the influence and that's a part of like the um but i do think in that challenging one another if you can either learn from it to get into the light yeah or if you can inspire and influence one another to step into the light and stay in the light or walk in life with the light that's what like strong fellowship is yeah that's what communing is. That's what like those. Th- that's like a kingdom relationship yeah. that we've Ooh. been like thinking about and talking about too. Yeah. And so I do think that there is. He's moving in us in a lot of different ways that Revelation. I'm very grateful for. Yeah. 
and he's humbling us in a lot of different ways and continues to do that. Yeah. Um, but he's also growing us. I think there's a lot of lessons that I think you and I are kind of like uncovering. But Revelation. Think, but it's because our yeah. hearts are open. Yeah. And we're seeking him. Tell me what you think about these two scriptures. The first one is from Psalm 36, 9 in the Passion. It's the fountain of life flows from you to satisfy me. In your light of holiness, we receive the light of revelation. Mm. And then the second passage is Matthew 6, 22 in the Passion Translation. The eyes of your spirit allow revelation light to enter your, your being. If your heart is unclouded, the light Ooh. floods in. There it is. Unclouded heart. There it is. That's it. Yeah. Well, and the other thing that you said earlier today that's been a theme of mine that we've been talking about over the last few weeks is protecting your focus. Ooh. Right? Protecting your focus and protecting your light. Mm. Ooh. Which is the same thing, yeah. right? It's all about influence. Yeah. It's all about like what you consume is what you are and like what you're allowing in is what you're allowing to flow through you. And it's that that focus and that action mm-hmm. of the light. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's a lot, there's a lot in there, I think in that scripture and also in these themes that he's presenting to us, but I realize it's an hour in, Yeah, we We got to go to the gym. We broke like podcasting records right now. Yeah, we did great. Uh, (laughs) Thank you, God. Bye everybody. (laughs) Hopefully we'll still be here next week. We'll let you know. Stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. (laughs) More to come. More to come. Bye. God bless you all. God bless you all. (laughs) Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey of faith and transformation. As we conclude this episode, we invite you to reflect on the profound power of fasting and prayer. Remember, this journey is not possible without the unwavering support of our generous donors. Your contributions enable us to continue providing life-changing services through our ministries, including Families in Crisis, Divorce Care for Kids, and The Fellowship Project. To learn more about our ministries and to make a donation today, please visit our website at www.cadenceand.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on future episodes. We invite you to join us on this extraordinary journey of faith and transformation. Thank you for listening and may God bless you.